What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today and today we have the layover vlog at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport from 1pm to 2.30pm on February 28th, 2021. I hope you guys are excited for today's layover vlog. If you guys missed the American Airlines Airbus A321 trip report, that is where we're picking up this video. So if you missed that, I highly recommend checking it out so you're completely up to speed on where we are right now. I was super excited to be at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. This was my first time at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport as an aviation enthusiast and I was super, super excited for this layover. Even though our inbound flight was slightly late, I still had a solid hour to explore Phoenix and do some really fun things that we'll be presenting in this layover vlog. I had multiple objectives as I got to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. We arrived into the N2 concourse in Terminal 4 with the A gates and I had quite a few objectives like I said with the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport layover vlog. My main objective of course was to do some spotting in Terminal 4 which I was super excited about but I also wanted to explore Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport as a whole. As you guys can see as we're currently getting off the aircraft, the airport was super super busy which was expected during this time of the year but still very very awesome to see that. It was super fun to get the fly in with such a scenic approach and we had some awesome weather to do some fun spotting at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. The first thing I noticed when I got the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, even though I've seen it on videos online, is just the whole desert vibe that the inside the Terminal 4 gives you. With the wall designs and just the atmosphere in general, you just feel like you're in the desert. And with the scenery out the windows, the big windows and everything, it was a really good vibe. And I was honestly super, super excited to be at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. Before going on this trip, of course, I did my research so I knew how the or what the best places to spot at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport in Terminal 4 would be. I ultimately came to this verdict that it was probably going to be on the northeast side of Terminal 3 because that would give us a great view of the taxiway, arriving aircraft, great scenic backgrounds, etc. which I was super excited about. I apologize that I wasn't able to film completely everything because it wasn't just like the Skylink where I could just go around and film everything so I'm kind of at a lack for footage which I apologize about but what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be taking a look at some of these photos and following that we're going to be doing some spotting at Terminal 3 4's uh, northeast pier of the N3 concourse. Alrighty guys, so let's take a look at some of these pictures. I'm sorry if they've already came on the screen, but we're just going to do some more in-depth look. So here is a picture right here looking outside of the connecting pieces by the concourses in Terminal 4. Uh, just an absolutely beautiful photo here as we can tell. So this pier was connecting N2 and N3. This honestly was a really good location for plane spotting. The, mo the hardest thing about it for landing aircraft on runway 26 was they just came out of nowhere unless you were literally stalking flight radar 24 or any tracking app they literally just flew by so you had to be ready for it so that was the only thing disadvantage honestly i was very pleased with the clarity and every uh, opportunity that was presented here but it was just super super hard to predict and just keep a constant eye on it so but for taxing aircraft especially it was super super nice uh because the concourse is kind of peered in so you can't see the aircraft landing so now, it was still a good spot though and I still really liked it. And here's another picture of how busy the airport was. I may have shown these couple already, but here is one particularly just showing how busy Phoenix was during this time of the year. Phoenix, warm destination even though not in this day, but still fairly warm destination. Great place to go during the winter. Everybody was hustling and bustling going to their respective destinations, which was super cool to see. Alrighty, so landing in this picture, so what I did was I did end up going over to N4 just in case if there was a good spot over there. There was a lot of gates and they kind of just crammed the windows so there really wasn't just a great spot over there and it was so crowded so I decided to opt out of that and take it back over to N3. I did do a little bit of plane spotting at that area that I showed in that previous picture and some of the shots did come out good. I did not film anything though just because of how uh, much was going on and I would love to edit the pictures for this layover vlog but it's just logistically not the most smart thing but those will be coming to Instagram in the future so I will be excited to present those to you guys. So here we arrive at the N3 part of the concourse where I did the plane spotting. Now as you guys can tell this is going to be kind of a challenge but kind of not because uh, this is the northeast corner of the gate. Uh, you guys can see the AirCal Retro livery. That's my fifth or sixth time seeing it which was really cool but over there on the corner gate and then this A320 that was on the next gate right next to it. There was a really nice little lane right there but the only problem was it was definitely kind of a challenge until that A320 left to get some ideal shots from over there but that was okay because I was ready for that challenge. 
So we have a variety of video clips to watch of numerous aircraft landing. You'll hear my camera just going off. And like I said, I'm super sorry that I wasn't able, or I'm not, I don't have the time to edit all the photos for this layover vlog because that would be ideal. But we do have an assortment of video clips to watch here and a couple of uh, shots off the camera and that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm excited to present this to you guys. So let's take a look at these clips. So we made it to the spotting location in three and I saw some awesome stuff for sure. Uh, quite a bit of American mainline, uh, some Southwest. And then as you guys can see on the screen, we had two absolutely awesome Boeing 767-300s, one a freighter and one a passenger. Let's start with the passengers. That was the first one I saw with this Delta Airlines Boeing 767-300ER. Uh, don't mind these raw pictures. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of context so it didn't just come out like, what the heck are we doing here? But really awesome aircraft. Unfortunate that we couldn't get any sunlight on it, but hey, you love the 767. It was awesome to catch that. And we also got to see a cargo 767 uh, before I started recording, and that was the primary Boeing 767. 7 300 uh, freighter. Uh, looks really nice. We did get a kind of decent one here, as you can see, with a little bit of light. I'll have to do some fine editing to make a, a solid uh, photo out of that. But that was really awesome. But as we'll see in this next clip, um, we have the United Airlines Boeing 737 800, or sorry, 900, pardon me, uh, landing in. So let's take a look at this. The next one that I recorded was this Delta Airlines Airbus 8 through 21 landing. Following this, we got to see arguably the best catch of the spotting session at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, which was this United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 in the Evo Blue colors. This is my first time catching a MAX 9 and I was super, super excited. And just like that, it was already about time to board our American Airlines Airbus A321neo with service back to Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, due to that delay getting in and uh, overall just a short layover, there was not a whole lot of time to spot. However, we did get some really good stuff, especially for only being able to spot for an hour, and I was very, very satisfied, especially with that MAX 9. We also got a JetBlue A320 in the Bark Hotel, the American Airlines 737 Air Cows. I'm sure you guys saw um, in the left of the screen over there. Uh, I did get that pushing back and taxing, but that was once I boarded the American A321neo, as we'll see in the trip port. There was also some other really cool catches. We got to see a Chester, a Contour, a um, a couple of Southwest 737s, some Frontiers, more Delta A321s. So there was a lot of really good stuff. So I really, really hope you guys are excited for even more to come. But overall, Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport is an absolutely beautiful airport. It definitely gives off such a different vibe. It definitely makes me want to go back to those concourses and I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to check out Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport or Phoenix in general, you will have a fantastic time, especially with just how different it is and especially as a winter hotspot uh, coming up for once again this fall or this winter, pardon me, highly recommended and uh, really, really excited for what's to come. Hopefully I can make a better uh, Phoenix uh, layover vlog in the future. Potentially if I get another chance to go out there, I would absolutely love to and uh, you will not be disappointed. There's plenty of flights all around the United States and even quite a few in the Mexico and Canada. And speaking of that, I also saw Air Canada CRJ uh, 705 or 900 in the new colors, 900, pardon me. It had a really interesting flight number. It was AC, I think 8305. And on top of that, it only came on Sundays. So maybe a once a week uh, kind of cargo orientated flight. I don't know, but that was really cool to see. And I also forgot to mention this, but I also saw Valaris A320 fence tips. So that was really cool. But anyways, guys, 
I know it was short. I apologize, but I hope you guys are excited for the American Airlines Airbus A321 Neo trip report. The takeoff was absolutely phenomenal, and there was some stunning views, including a very interesting ground stop situation. Honestly, probably the funnest flight of the trip, even though all four of them were great. So I really hope you guys are excited for that. But with all that being said, thank you so much, Phoenix Sky Harbor, for such an awesome experience in my short time there. I really hope I'm able to make it back out soon. They have some awesome planes flying in, and it's such a cool airport uh there was a, i had a great experience overall um after this i used the restroom got me a coke for the flight back to dallas and we will pick it up right there in that trip for from where we're leaving off right here which should be coming out next week um i'm still recovering from mono when i'm making this video so i have no idea when that's going to be but um maybe october maybe november maybe january i honestly don't know but it will hopefully be coming out next week. But uh, anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. One thing, guys, so much for watching. Uh, make sure not to miss out on that American A321 Neo trip report. The takeoff was phenomenal. But with all that being said, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red Dirt Aviation. One thing, guys, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Red Dirt Aviation is signing off.